Uh, we're at the gym now. As you can see, I'm kind of tired. It's like 8 a.m. or just over 8 a.m. I came early today because it's Saturday and me and my wife have things we want to do. On weekends, I like getting the lift out of the way, even though it's not the most ideal. I don't like lifting early because it's not very optimal for gains, in my opinion. I don't have the best workouts. I'm tired. I don't have all my food in me. I'm not hydrated. Uh, my body is just like not really warm. However, because I'm in a marriage, because I'm in a long-term relationship, there's things you just have to sacrifice, man, because would I love to sleep one or two more hours? Yes, but me and my wife have plans for the for the day, right? On the weekend, it's a day where we hang out. So we, it's a day where we can go out and do stuff together. And if I have to like F off, go to the gym for like an hour or two randomly during the day, it's just going to throw a wrench in our plans and it's just not really worth it, honestly. Um, and once you're like married, once you're in a long-term relationship, you have to kind of sacrifice things to ensure that your partner is happy. I know that sounds... It's kind of obvious advice, but I think a lot of people don't realize that once they're like, or people who are like single for a long time or people who are not in relationships, they just like want to live their life, right? You will love your alone time, but <laughs> why are you getting in a long-term relationship? Like, why are you getting married? You're agreeing to make your partner happy and have a happy life together, not alone. So there's things you have to do and sacrifice to ensure that your partner stays happy, even though it cuts into your alone time or cuts into whatever you want to do. It's part of the agreement, right? And this was something I really, really struggled with because I'm someone who likes doing my own stuff, like doing my alone time, going to the gym, going to play basketball. I love doing those things. However, I came to terms eventually that this person who I've married is a lot more important than those things at the end of the day. Uh, I've agreed to have a happy life with her. Have agree I've agreed to, you know have her as my lifelong partner, which means her happiness is my responsibility. And if that means I have to come to the gym a bit early, even though I want to sleep in, then yeah, I got to do that. And this type of sacrifice is like the smallest of sacrifices, to be honest. There's going to be much bigger things, I'm sure. But yeah, I try to do what I can to ensure that my hobbies and my alone time does not cut into our relationship, if that makes sense, which is tough because the gym is a constant hobby. You're doing it five days, seven days, six days a week so it does take up a lot of time but find a way find if there's a will there's a way so just find a way but anyways we need this pull day started man let's get into it i'm pretty tired but let's try it out hopefully the lift goes well Sun is finally out, beautiful day, lift completed, time to enjoy the weekend. Alright, very good lift. I have recently lowered the volume on my lifts a lot. I went from doing like three sets and a lot of exercises to two sets per exercise and I reduced the number of exercises. So today I only did three back movements, a rear delt movement, and then I also did two bicep movements. Um, it was good. I tried to keep my sets. Well, yeah, I try to keep my top sets to around six to eight reps. Usually I would have done four to five. I would usually do four to five, but I realized that a lot of times when I'm trying to push the weight up or if I load too much on the bar, I'm having a bad day, that top set would end up as like a double or a triple instead of four to five reps, which honestly isn't enough um, reps in my opinion to get like a good stimulus. So I dropped the weight on a few exercises to make sure that I hit six to eight reps um, and I'm trying to progress the weight I'm hitting right now for six to eight, all the way to 10 reps, and then I'll start upping the weight from there. I'm gonna drop the weight a bit on all my exercises to make sure that I'm hitting at least six to eight reps, just to make sure that even if I'm having an off day or like I load too much on the bar accidentally, 
I'm gonna at least be hitting like five, four to five reps at least. But anyways, it's time to go home. Me and my wife are gonna go hang out and yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get too much footage, but I'll try. So I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, it's only like 9.30. I usually don't eat breakfast, but since I just worked out, I'm gonna drink some protein and eat some chips before we head out. Fit check today. Oh, can't even see anything. The fit is pretty basic. Uniqlo pants, palace hoodie, New York Yankees cap, probably pair it with some gazelles. I do not dress well, so don't take my fit advice ever. Mm. Mm. Morning physique check, no pump, no nothing. Looking bad, all right. Yeah, it's not looking too hot. Not looking too hot. All right, so today is actually Sunday. I did not record me going out yesterday with my wife. We're actually gonna go out today, so we're gonna go record some stuff. But before we go out, I'm gonna just eat some purgogi, some leftover purgogi from the day before or the two days before. Keep that up, eat it up. Wifey is washing up and she said she doesn't wanna eat, so I'm just gonna eat alone. And then we're gonna head out, gonna head out to Costco. Go to downtown for some stuff and then I uh, forgot what else we're doing. Oh, probably go for a car wash, but that's about it for today. But I'll see y'all there. All right, I've realized it's not enough prugogi, not enough protein. So I have rice under here. I'm gonna add some eggs to that. Let's go. Prugogi eggs on rice. Mm. All right, looking kind of grungy right now. Let's wash up. I just finished doing my hair. Um, I just sea salt spray it, blow dry the front, and then hope that it stays pretty decent over the day. I just let the rest of my hair just like dry, air dry, sorry, yeah. So we'll see how it looks when it dries. All right, fit check today is just essentials, long sleeve tee with some pants from Korea. I don't I think it was, uh, what's that brand? It's like a Korean Uniqlo or a Korean H&M, uh, I forget what it's called. Technology. All right, I just realized I am a terrible vlogger. I got home, we went, did all the stuff outside, went to the mall today, went to Costco, and then went to the car wash. I also dropped off some books to the library that were long overdue. And then we came home, ate some Samgyup Star for dinner, but I forgot to record it even though it was very delicious. So I've just decided I'm a terrible vlogger. I'm gonna probably get used to it more and more as I go. At this point, I'm basically just vlogging for friends. I feel like, yeah. A lot of times, actually I'll talk about this tomorrow, but anyways, I'm gonna do some abs tomorrow, or I'm gonna do some abs right now before I go to bed. It's around eight o'clock. Gonna do some abs, wind down for the weekend. Hope you all had a great weekend. Mine was pretty chill, it was pretty lax. Mostly just hung out with my wife, that's about it. Hope you guys, you all had a great weekend and I hope we have a great week ahead. Let's make these gains.